Hey, welcome back. Uh, sorry, this is might be a little bit windy. I'm trying to block the wind as best I can, but my good cameras are charging right now. But anyway, this is going to be the next project we tackle. It's a 1987 double bunk Freightliner cab over with a four and a quarter B model cat and a 15 speed. Uh, plans are to do a complete restoration on this. Uh, very in depth, more than I've done on my pewter bowl as of yet. But we want to get this project started and do everything from a full repaint to a new rear clip off of a newer Freightliner with uh, good air ride suspension. So, anyway, we're going to look at this. It still is fairly complete. Not much has happened to it other than it's been sitting for some time. Uh, both fuel tanks are in good shape, which is kind of hard to find on something that's been parked. This back end's torn apart because originally stuff was going to be replaced, but actually it's going to get cut and completely replaced. So anything, anything on the back end we're not worrying about. A lot of this stuff has been taken apart, all the air intake piping. But there's the engine. That'll have to get all checked out before we try to start it. I couldn't find any oil in it. Um, it did run when it was parked here, but it's been a few years since it's been tried. So you can see there's a fuel can in there from trying to start it, or from starting it before. A lot of stuff. It'll obviously need a paint job, new exhaust. This back end will get torn off. Uh, might even end up being replaced. All the brackets back here for the exhaust. And the paint's in pretty rough shape. And there'll be some panels that need to be replaced. But other than that, it's fairly complete. The parts that are missing are very easy to find. None of the badges are missing. Still has an original factory visor. The original bumper is in storage so it wouldn't get damaged. The interior is where the work begins. It does have the expensive interior with the original seats. Someone has been in this truck and uh, didn't really damage very much but did some really weird things last time I was in this truck none of this had happened but uh, those gauges got broken and there was a lot of a lot of painting uh, just yeah little things left inside stickers Painted stones back there. All that'll have to get cleaned. There's a bit of water damage coming down from the ceiling, so I'm gonna have to pull that out and replace it. But honestly, the interior in here, once I get it cleaned and fixed, new seals in, uh, it's actually in excellent condition considering it's been sitting for so long. The truck was parked in 2001, so it's only it's only ran uh, two million kilometers. Just trying to show some details. This uh, this is the newer split doghouse where that you can open up and your electricity's underneath like the breakers and such but interior wise it's just going to be an awful lot of elbow grease that has to happen now, all the parts are here it's just a matter of replacing what needs replaced the uh the curtain is still in here that half is hung up that half needs to go up a lot of ripping things out this velour kind of interior is a bit harder to work with. These seats are going to have to get replaced too. 
um, the pedals are seized. You know, it's just typical stuff for a truck that hasn't ran in 20 years. So, should look pretty good when we're done with it. Plan is, it's gonna look, uh, it's gonna look like a truck with running down the road in 85. I'm not gonna do anything ridiculous to it. Not gonna damage what's here. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. That thing's gonna need fixed. So, nothing ridiculously custom, just something done up real tasteful like. But I just wanted to show what it's like when we start on it. On the passenger side tank, it's still damage free. Often you see these missing. And these pockets here, they wear out. So guys like to steal them. The only thing that is really missing not missing but uh, these grab handles back here they're about the first thing that ever leaves a truck once it gets parked people want them really bad and they steal them off right away um, this truck has both of them but the driver's side one is broken you can see this back end here where the steel and aluminum are that it's in pretty good shape for the age it is this part of the truck, this kind of horseshoe bracket that runs around the back end here, is one of the first things to rot out. And the the frame itself is in fairly good shape. I don't think it was... I know I said none of this matters because it's getting cut off anyway, but it's not a double frame. It's fairly clean. So depending where in here anything gets cut, it's no issue at all. It's still a heavy duty frame. Um, I'm a little bit suspicious. I, well, I have to go in there and check somehow. But the gear shift handle might be disconnected or maybe the actual box has been pulled off of this truck, which would be pretty frustrating. But I'll have to crawl in here somehow. It's on really short rubber right now on the front end, so it could be stored inside. Uh, that looks like the fuel light like, leaked out of that tank. Well, it'll hardly be fuel at this point. It'll be water and water and goop. All right. So here you go. And it's just a four and a quarter air to air. And uh, I don't see, yeah, shoot. Yeah, this is the arm for the gear, gear lever. And the stub is right up there. And I believe this whole box thing is missing. So that that's gonna be a job to find one of those. I'm not sure if it was missing when he bought it or if someone came here and lifted it while it's been sitting. And another thing is I want to check out the hydraulics there to lift the cab. Um, ugh. That thing's pretty rotten. That might have to get replaced. While we're at it, that brace that runs along the bottom of the cab. So, yeah, I'm not sure where the the pump is to lift the cab. Hmm. Must be a lot of stuff that just needs replaced. 
and a lot of other stuff that needs cleaned up. I'll probably do, end up painting the frame and everything once it gets clipped. And I imagine it'll get stretched a wee bit, nothing ridiculous, but. The steel air tanks and everything underneath that, all that stuff has to go. Um, basically, I'm just gonna start pulling everything off that either needs replaced or fixed. Well, this whole back end, all of this, uh, we'll see about the fairings and see about what it's going to take to get the cab up. Might even pull the cab right off of it. I wouldn't mind pulling the cab that way, I could work on it in my little shop. It's going to be a lot of lines to replace on the engine as well. Things like that. Once they dry out, you no, know, no point in trusting them. You can burn a truck down with bad with the. Uh, you can burn a truck down by just having lines that are too brittle, and having an oil line or a fuel line start spraying on the wrong spot. So don't mess around with bad. Bad hoses. There is no actual damage to the truck, although some panels are gonna have to get replaced just because of the condition that they're in from corrosion. But that's good because uh, none of the braces or anything in beside will need any work. It'll just have to be huck bolting, huck bolt a new panel on. So, anyway, just giving you a heads up. We'll uh, have a lot more content on this. It'll be interesting trying to get it running. And again, the point, the purpose of it all is to restore it right back to factory and maybe a little bit of chrome on it. But other than that, keep it classy. So, all right. Thanks for watching.